afternoon from Cannes Lions back again in, this is not La Croisette, this is the Port this year. Uh, and I'm very happy to be here with you. Um, what's Cannes like in 2023 in this 70th anniversary where it's amazing? We are like if COVID haven't had happened, which I think is an extraordinary news for everybody. It's full of clients, uh, full of wonderful agencies, independent group agencies, also lots of tech companies and all the platforms of course are, are here. I am very glad to see the numbers are increasing and many nationalities are here this year. Just to pick up uh, five, uh, five trends from the, the, the experience. CMOs, we've, been, we've seen many, many CMOs. Uh, the the Can Lions Festival has built some cabanas and some special programs for them. So we have loads of brands here today and this week. And um, what we can see is the, the biggest tough and the toughest problem they have is to really be integrated. We always claim we want uh, integrated agencies. I think what, what um, clients are thinking is now I have to be integrated myself. So I have to be a C-level complete on my position. So I have to be a little bit of a finance guy, a little bit of a technical guy or technological guy. So um, this is one of the claims we're seeing from, from marketeers. It's more and more difficult to really be able to, to make your clients have this uh, omnichannel experience. And of course, the word of the festival is AI, everybody talking about the fears and the opportunities. I think we have to think of it as a tool, really. Um, it's going to help us improve. It's going to, of course, it's going to take some jobs away, but um, I'm sure those people are going to find other opportunities to do things they would really like to do. Um, I want to mark especially one of the tools that was launched today in, in the Palais, and it was the tool that Will I Am has launched, it's FYI. And it's a tool especially for creators, uh, very much into a secure environment, more like the crypto coins. And uh, I think it's, uh, we've seen an example and it was amazing how he was writing a song directly from, from the scenario of the Debussy. So I think we have to think of it as a new tool we have in mind, not as a threat for everybody. And how to reinvent ourselves because this is like uh, how world goes now. So in terms of the media landscape, um, we're in a, in a tough moment, uh, cookies are going to go away, everybody wants personalization more and more and uh, what's interesting is I liked, uh, the, uh, I want to pick up uh, what Viner Media said, he's always very loud but um, it was interesting thinking this industry sticks to the past, so thinking about how good was television advertising and those 30, 45 or even one minute pieces of work. And now we've, uh, we've jumped into artificial intelligence and what we're going to do. And we really have to stick into the, what's happening today. And today we have to say that social media is really the most, uh, in, one of the most important platforms to really get related with uh, especially the young generations and of course with other media. But uh, we have to stick there and see what's happening with creators, how they can elevate the speech, how they can work the strategy from the brands. So um, let's stick there and take all the power that's around uh, this capabilities of, of what the platforms are offering us. If we look at the social uh, market, it's going to be um, the social commerce market this year. It's going to be of one trillion uh, US dollars. So I believe there is something to pay attention over there. Then, of course, uh, we started last year with B2B. It was the first year that the festival put the category on. And um, this year, we've seen extraordinary cases. The category keeps growing. We tend to think that B2B is very boring, but it is not. And uh, we've seen great, great examples. I really uh, encourage you to go and see the piece of work that Intel has been doing in terms of uh, uh, detecting fake, uh, fake um, faces. Uh, and computers, which is a B2B tool, but, but it's, it's done in a very, very creative way. And then last but not least, um, I have to say, um, we've had lots of presence of gaming and the power of gaming. So um, before it was all about Fortnite, and it was more like a trend. Now we see multi-platform, the power of a platform such as uh, Twitch. We've seen a, a wonderful piece from the Bank of Montreal, which I also recommend you to go and see and visit other work, which is um, streamers talking about financial education on Twitch and having um, people engage for hours. I mean, young people, Gen Z people uh, engage for hours and learning really about finance, which is uh, ridiculously, when you, if you think it as a brief, if, if someone gives me a brief like that, I mean, I would say, oh, this, this would never happen. Well, it has happened and, and this is to show the capabilities that the gaming industry and all that makes engaged young people. I also like very much um, Oreo cases because uh, I think they've done an excellent creative work together with technology. So congratulations for that for, for Oreo. And um, then last but not least, of course, um, two big topics, uh, diversity. 
diversity and inclusion. I think it's been uh, very heavy this year and very heavy supported by big brands that really have realized the importance of, of this. Um, it's not only ONGs or small projects around the world, so it's big brands supporting and doing real things to change the world of these people that have different capabilities. And also, of course, about uh, women inclusion, which is uh, more than necessary about uh, especially the LGTB plus collectives. So, and on top of all, we have to say that creativity, I think it's more important than ever, is the reach. Um, it's about getting to differentiate yourself and about getting to wake up people and wanting to engage uh, with your brand. We still have two more award ceremony to go, so tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow apparently there's a big surprise that's going to remember us why we love to work in this industry. So I'm going to leave you for today. Um, thank you very much. This is the 70th anniversary. It's very important and we're very happy to be here in Cannes. So bye and see you next year. Bye.